today as I did back then. Why? Because I still feel God's got good things in store. If we'll hold on and if we'll keep encouraging people. And he said, as I prophesied, there was a noise. And he said, then there was a shaking. And the bones started coming together. And he said, bone to his bone. Yes, sir, Reed. Now, who, who but God could do such things as these? Yeah, they wasn't no, uh, wasn't Janet, they wasn't no, it would look funny if, if, if your bone rack got up and, and you had one of my legs on or one of my arms, it would be a total mess, wouldn't it? Yes, sir, And if I, 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 if, if uh, I got up and I had one of Hub's arms or one of Hub's fingers or one of Hub's legs, it would be, but the Bible said bone to his bone. Yes, sir. That's some powerful stuff right there. Folks said, well, I can imagine. I believe it's possible that the bones of life could come. Muscles could be, become fresh in them. And veins and skin come on. I believe all that. Yeah, but in a bone pile where they got mixed up. Boys, uh, 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 like I said, some of these wild animals got in there stirring around got all these skeletons mixed together, but the Bible said bone to his bone. Boy, I'll tell you what, folks, saints, we live in a time today as we was talking at work here not too long ago. We live in a time, Lee, that people believe that they just take their life, it's over, and they don't have no problems no more. Boy, I'll tell you what, we might have our body, Melissa, even, and, and I don't believe it matters whether we're buried in the ground as a whole body or we're cremated or somebody lay a grenade in our inside of our cavities and blow Terry our body into a zillion pieces on that day. Boy, I'll tell you what, when God Almighty gives a command, I believe this old flesh is going to rise. I don't care if one ears in China, Melissa, and I got one ear in South America. Them ears is going to come to this head, and we're going to stand and present ourselves before God. Yes, sir. I believe that to all my heart. I believe this is what Ezekiel saw. Bone to his bone. Yes, sir. It came together in order. Why? Because God Almighty had commanded. Folks said I'll never bow. Folks might say that I don't believe. They ain't nobody can make me believe. But he said, I saw this dead, both small and great, stand before God. It's going to happen, Lee Step. Why? Because God Almighty is going to speak the word. Today, me and my mother was talking last night. I, she was talking about a relative of ours. She said, boy, I'd hate to be the one that would uh, preach. I'm talking about my family now. I ain't talking about nobody else's. I don't have to worry about it. She said, I'd hate to be the one. I'm talking folks to be on their deathbed. And boy, the doctors don't give them no hope. But they still got evil in their heart. She said, I'd hate to be the one to preach their funeral. She said, wouldn't that be awful? I said, yeah, Mom, we live in a time. She said, and somebody said, oh, we need to pray that God would change them. Mom said, I told them they'll not change unless they want change. That's the way it is. Good and evil set before us. And the word of God said, choose this day. Who are you going to serve? Praise the Lord. tell you what. And I was telling mom, I said, her mom was said, uh, the Lord don't make us serve him. And he don't. No, sir. The Lord ain't. He's got the power, Bobby. Yes, sir. He's got the power. Make everybody on earth tonight before midnight. He's got the power, Terry. He changed to me and he can make everybody from east to west, north to south, hit their knees, boy, and a revival break out, and folks be saved. He's got that much power, but he will not do it. More, but one of these days, Bobby, this old free moral agent's going to be given up. Everybody's going to listen to the voice of God. Everybody's going to rise and do what he says to do. They don't have to do it today. He's not that kind of a God. Amen, preacher. 
step farther. We got some folks that stay at home from church watching YouTube now. That's not what we got this YouTube for. God could have made you come to church tonight, but he won't do it. No sorry. You can stay home if you want to, but you're missing out. And your family's going to pay for it. Bless your name. Got on your toes right there in your living room or wherever your computer is. Shame on you. Get out here and help. Oh, yeah. Folks is counting yeah. on us. That's right. You yeah. that ain't able, don't be discouraged. God's with you yeah. and he'll take care of you. Right. Yeah, the world is looking. Preach to a camera. <laughs> it might come to that. That's all we've got. I still like to preach. If that's the only one, we have to buy cameras and put in every pew just so I have something to preach at. It'll be yeah. worth it. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hurry up, preacher. Got him something good now. Uh, yeah, you're Take right. my time. Yeah. Yeah, and you eat fast, you get indigestion, yeah. don't you? Right. Oh, yeah, if you yeah. enjoy it, yeah. it's sweet. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. He said, So I prophesied as it was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking. Oh, yeah. And the bones came together, yeah. bone to his bone. When I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them. Yeah. And the skin covered them above. Oh, yeah. There was no breath yeah. in them. No breath. Yeah, what are we going to do now? Yeah. They got no oxygen oh, tanks. Yeah. There ain't it. no way that we can get enough people in here. <coughs> ain't enough, enough living souls around <laughs> to give everybody mouth to mouth and oh, get them resuscitated. Yeah. What in the world are we going to do now? Yeah. And the Lord spoke to him again. And he said, then he said unto me, prophesy unto the wind. Oh, yeah. Prophesy, yeah. son of man, right. and say to the wind, thus saith the Oh, my goodness Make gracious. <laughs> yeah. Wonder what would happen. Yeah. We have trouble being obedient to God because we're worried what somebody's yeah. going to say. Yeah. You're right. Wonder what How would it make you feel if you found that your pastor, somebody called you and said, you know where your preacher's at? She did it up at the top of the mountain, preaching to the wind. Surprised me if he Said he's up there preaching to the wind. <laughs> Lord, have mercy, he's done lost. We're in the graveyard preaching the bones. Yep. But he said, and say to the wind, thus saith the Lord God. Oh, yeah. Hear me, wind. Oh, yeah. God Almighty told me to come talk to you. Oh, yeah. oh church, he, he, blessed be the name of the Lord. He gave us dominion over everything, Lee. Yeah. He said over the fowls of the air, the, 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 the creatures of the sea and the beasts of the field. You think about that, Ronnie. He gave us you out there he said <laughs> I remember I remember well and I hope Roseanne watches this <laughs> we was on the creek to Jody Melissa will tell her she tells her everything <laughs> uh, just about everything we lived up Jody I never will forget and maybe uh, Cheryl's the only one here and she was the youngest Cheryl, you remember the first time your mommy and daddy left or went somewhere and left one of them in charge? Francis, you remember. Ronnie probably does. Oh, yeah. Who was in charge? Uh, Joyce. Joyce, oh Lord. <laughs> yeah. I never will forget mom and dad. They wouldn't just leave us. Oh, this will preach too. Right. Mom and dad just wouldn't leave us with just anybody. No. Oh, come on. I didn't know them. Huh? Yeah. That's where folks get in trouble, ain't it? Yeah, I wish I had the house full tonight. Yeah, yeah it, it's going out. We got over half a million views. Yeah, you mommies and daddies taking off and leaving your babies with just anybody 